Hello, welcome to uh, my review of the Cooper Bourne 2022. As you can see, this car um, at 77% um, has got 158 miles on on the uh, on the range, and it's it's only uh, the the one one I'm reviewing is only done 6,600 miles. Um, it's a very nice car. Very stylish inside. Some cup holders. A little cubby hole. Into all these copper accents. As you can see, all the copper accents. And the gear is quite nice as well. The uh, auto box is placed over here, so you can quite easily uh, select your drive and your neutral and reverse and to, to basically park and activate the automatic brake you just press the, the P on the end. Now as you can um, see there's no start button and this is very similar to the uh, the Volkswagen because it, it basically is a Volkswagen and in that um, it turns off as you get out of the car so it's uh, pressure sensitive on the seat and as you get out close the door And of course, we're getting in the back. And as you can see, there's loads of room sitting behind my, I'm five foot seven. So, uh, but even if you were six foot, it wouldn't, you still have loads, loads of room back here. And doing the uh, the head test, as you can see, I've got a quite a bit of space between me and the, the, there. Um, there's no glass roof in this one. And it, as you can see, foot space is massive. It's quite comfortable in the back of here. As you can see, everything's turned on at the moment, but when I lock it, it's all turned off inside as well. And a quick review of the outside of the car. Very nice alloys, well styled. The very stylish car. As I said, it's built on the same platform as the ID3 and the ID4. So this is basically an ID3 that's been styled up. And they got they started about thirty seven thousand and the boot is quite large and under the floor there's a bit of more of a cubby space there and that is it that is my short review Cooper Bourne. Thank you for looking. To be honest, I would uh, I would love to give this vehicle a, a very positive review, but it has the same issues with the Volkswagens, unfortunately. Um, uh, I mean, look, where is the radio? If you're dri if you're driving along and you've got to get to the radio or the air conditioning. You've basically got to go into your screen somehow. <laughs> You've got to go into your screen. And as you can see, I have got Art Dance set, set on there so I can just un undo there and it'll bring the music up. But if you want to then mess with the radios, the channels, 
it's not it's not very helpful at all right so it, really this is a uh, I've classed it as a boy races version of an ID3 really it's fast it's nice looking on the outside it's quite comfortable I mean it's got some nice material here but this is pretty much hard plastic up here a bit of texture over on the passenger side this is nice the glove box it's not, not very useful I wouldn't say especially with that divider well, it's got nice little metal highlights on the pedals so I would say it's above an ID3 which is 10 grand almost dearer than a, an MG4 which is a better car and let's hope they they improve this entertainment system because it's uh, it's not very good right that's it now for this video thank you um, as I said it's a bit it's a nice car uh, overview is is like um, it's better than an ID3 if you can get at this rather than the ID3 I would um, but same again with with the, the software to be still the Volkswagen software and it's always a bit glitchy but uh, thank you for looking please like and subscribe